today I'm going to sensitize my carbon tissue. 36 hours ago, I made the carbon tissue and I coated my plastic substrate, my yucco. And it has been drying in a controlled environment. It's been in a cupboard so that it didn't get dust on it. It's been in um, a temperature controlled environment. The humidity has been controlled and it's had a fan blowing on it to help to speed up the drying. It's now, um, it's got no tackiness to it, it's not sticky in any way. And I now cut off the border around the outside. This piece I have cut away because I can't use this piece, it's got some air bubbles in it. If I use this in a carbon print, the water would get under the air bubbles um, and the image would float off the substrate. So I'm going to use this as a demonstration piece. I normally wouldn't be able to demonstrate the process because being a sensitizing process, the carbon becomes highly sensitive to light. So I wouldn't be able to film this in the dark, obviously. So I would normally work under a safe light, but for the demonstration, I can do this in the light. So I will take my carbon tissue, and I have here a solution, let me come and have a look, of ammonium dichromate. You can use potassium dichromate or ammonium dichromate. I've tried both, and I've settled on ammonium dichromate. I found with the potassium dichromate, my images had more of a sepia tone to them, and I prefer to have more a cool tone, a black tone to my images. So I'm using ammonium dichromate. The uh, tissue, carbon tissue, goes into the ammonium dichromate. There's two ways of sensitizing. You can either tray sensitize, which is the way I do it, or you can brush sensitize, um, where you basically paint the dichromate, you pour it onto the tissue and you paint it on. I prefer to do it in a tray, where I know it's giving a thorough coating. You do this for between two to two and a half minutes. The longer it's in the solution, um, the harder the, sensitive, the the gelatin will be when it's exposed to the UV light. At the end of the time, I place it onto some glass or some acrylic and squeegee away the excess liquid just one stroke in each direction. You can see I'm working with gloves and you can see the orange color. It's a very toxic substance. You cannot get it on your skin. Some people are very allergic to it. And from here, you can either dry it flat, I put it onto a wire tray, I'm not going to put it in the cupboard because I have other sheets drying in there, or you can hang it. From here, it takes about two hours to dry. When it's dry, it can be put into the freezer and it can be taken out as and when, you requ as and when um, required and cut to size. That's it.